What's up guys? You're watching the Sean Nicholas channel. Today we're going to be unboxing Hot Wheels Fast and Furious 2023 Mix 3. We got the third mix for 2023. We are seeing tons and tons of Fast and Furious and I know you guys are saying, hey, they're milking it. You know, they're making the m most money they can out of Fast and Furious, but I'm not complaining because there's some great cars that they come out with with Fast and Furious. We've seen the singles this year. We've seen premium. We've seen five packs. Tons of great stuff comes with Fast and Furious. They have a ton of awesome cars. All right, so let's just get straight to it. This is the Fast and Furious 2023 Mix 3 Premium. That's right. First up, we're going to go in order. We got one through five here. Now, each um, car has artwork that's dedicated to the movie that they're from. This is from the first Fast and Furious. If you flip it around back, you will be able to tell which movie it's from. So... So you can see each one has its own little design. It's got like Paradise, Alfa Romero's got, I can't remember where that's from. Anyways, um, you got the skyline right there. Pretty awesome, good stuff. So if you wanna see what movie it's from, just flip around back here and you got the complete cards right there. Here is the barcode. If you need that, go ahead and have the employees scan it at Target, Walmart. I found my set at Target. So I hope you guys have good luck finding yours as well. All right, let's get straight to it. So this is the custom Acura Integra sedan GSR. And we've seen this in the first Fast and Furious. Now it's a little bit weird because in the movie, it's a two door. It's not a sedan, it's a coupe. So I'm not sure, maybe they just wanna do something different with it, but yeah. Anyways, awesome gray base right there. Let's go ahead and get this thing cracked open. I do like those small chrome wheels they put on this thing. I think it fits the casting fabulously. Definitely looks lowered, looks great. Clean, awesome design. They got the headlights, they got the taillights. It has lightly smoked window tint with black interior and it's got the exhaust on the back, a nice little detail. It says HSK and also type R on that rear bumper. But overall, this casting looks clean. They kept it simple, nice. Um, other, th other than it being a sedan, I don't have any other complaints about this thing. The thing looks great. Awesome. Good stuff. All right. That is a good start to this Fast and Furious Premium 5-pack. Five, 5 cars, not 5-pack, sorry. But anyways, let's go ahead and move on to number 2 in the mix. And this one's a little bit funny. The 1999 Nissan Maxima, which honestly, in my opinion... Here, let's get it out of the package and I'll, I'll show you guys what I think it really looks like. Um... It doesn't really look like a Maxima. I think the Maxima is a little bit more bubbly and this one's very boxy and the glass window on it just looks kind of funny back there. I don't know, you guys tell me. But anyways, I want to tell you guys what I think this car looks like. I think it looks like an Acura TL. Doesn't it look like an Acura TL? I mean, look at the back. Looks like it. And the front kind of looks like it. Uh, Maxima is more bubbly and I don't know, the one from the movie looks more bubbly as well. But other than the casting looking a little bit off, those wheels look spectacular. I do like those gray five spoke wheels. It's got the headlights, it's got the Nissan emblem right there on that front grille. It's got the taillights, it's got a little exhaust. It's got very dark window tint with black interior and it has a black base. All right, that is number two in the set, the Nissan Maxima, 1999 Nissan Maxima. Let's go ahead and move on to the third car in the set. We got the BMW M3 E46. And we actually just seen this recently. Let me go get it. We seen it just recently, last year. What was that in? Let me go grab it. All right, here it is. This is the E46 BMW M3 from Autostrass car culture set last year. It just clicked in my head. But anyways, yeah, I really, really do adore this casting. Those, uh, 10 spoke chrome wheels that red just looks spectacular um, Yeah, the white is gonna have a hard time beating this one. I think the Autostrass last year just looks so clean so well done um, Definitely like it a lot and this is actually a repeat. We got the same exact color same uh, What do you call it blue or green bluish greenish wheels? Anyways, we've seen this exact same casting same color everything already before and So yeah, it, it's nothing new but check out that artwork, it looks spectacular. This is from Fast and Furious number seven. Let's go ahead and get this one open so I can add it to the collection. I don't have the last one that they did of this casting with the same exact color and wheels. God, I'm having a hard time getting this one out. But 
anyways, that's why I'm opening this one up because I don't have the other one, but there's no difference between the two. They're exactly the same, same color wheels, you know, details, everything is exactly the same. And just like the Autostrass one, it's almost exactly the same, but on this Fast and Furious one, we do not have a license plate on the back. But other than that, the castings are almost exactly the same, even the same wheels, just different color. I do like that chrome a lot better, but it does look cool when you have white and off-colored wheels. All right, that is the BMW M3 E46. So happy to have another color of that casting. I do love the BMW M3s, they are so cool. All right, moving on to the fourth car in this mix. Yeehaw, crowd killer, no, I'm just kidding. All right, but anyways, this is the custom Mustang. Looks like it would be a Shelby GT500 if I had to say. Um, but this is actually a repeat as well. And this is from Fast and Furious number nine. Awesome, awesome, awesome. Blue with that white stripe looks clean. All right. There we have it. Those black wheels look great on it. It looks mean, it looks clean and simple. I do like when they leave out all those crazy designs like we've seen on the first car in this mix with that custom Integra, but that's an exact replica of the one from the movie, which is pretty cool as well. But I do like when I keep it simple and clean. They don't add all those crazy designs on there. And it looks like a car you'd find on the streets. So you can really see inside that interior, which they did a phenomenal job on. All right, that is the custom Mustang part of this Fast and Furious set. Let's go ahead and park it up. And we got one more car in this mix. We got the Alfa Romero Julia Sprint GTA. And I've actually seen this car in real life at the Hot Wheel Legend Tour. So if you didn't go to the Hot Wheel Legend Tour, you kind of missed out on that. They had this car out there in, you know, in person. So you can really see it up close. I wish I had this car earlier so I could have took a photo with, you know, the Hot Wheels and the real car next to each other. I think that would have been really cool. And this is from the latest movie, Fast X. If you haven't seen that, I don't know if it's still in theaters, but I heard, well, the movie left you on a cliffhanger. So I'm not sure if there's going to be a part two, but rumor is there's going to be a part two uh, for that movie. So, yeah. Anyways, let's go ahead and get this car open. I can't remember who drove this car either in the movie, but such a clean car. And we've actually seen this car this year. That's right. We've seen it this year. I got it right over here. Let me grab it real quick. And this was from the Spectaclair set, Car Culture. So clean. I love the white that they added to it. And it's got that like dragon snake right there on the hood. Super cool. Very clean casting. And we've seen this also as a mail-in last year, which I don't have that one on hand. But yeah, it was a mail-in. It was orange yellowish wheels with a blue body. And that one looked really clean. And now we got this orange with black stripes. Super cool from the movie. Exactly, you know, the same replica from the movie. It looks clean and it looks great. I do love those steely gray wheels. And that's the same exact wheels that we saw on the one from the Italian set. It's rocking a lightly smoked window tint with black interior. And it's got the headlights and taillight details with no plate, but the one from the Spetaclair has a plate. All right, that is the final car, the Alfa Romeo Julia Sprint GTA. Such cool cars. All right, I wanna know what you guys think of this set. Don't forget to, you know, tell me which one's your favorite. And what do you think of this Nissan Maxima? Do you think it looks like an Acura TL or am I just seeing things off? All right, you guys don't forget to tell me which one you like. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Yes.